Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about finding the weighted mean on a TI-30X2S calculator. So in a previous video, we talked about how to find a weighted mean or the mean of a frequency distribution. We said take the X column, multiply it by the F column to get a new product column. Then you're going to find the sum of the frequencies, which in this case is 10, the sum of the products, 174,400 in this example, and the mean formula tells us to divide the sum of the products by the sum of the frequencies, and we get 17,440. Well, we're gonna work this same problem, but using the data and frequency menu on your calculator. So the first step for calculating the mean of this frequency distribution on your TI-30X2S calculator is to make sure that any data you may have previously entered has been cleared out. One way to do this is to hit second exit stat. So you're going to push the second button and then exit stat exits the statistics mode and and that's above the stat bar key. So you're going to click the stat bar key next. Now you should see on your screen, exit stat, yes or no. And the yes will be underlined and that's what we wanna do. So all you have to do is click enter. Now you're ready to enter your data values. To enter the data values, you need to get back into statistics mode. So you're gonna click second and then the data button, which puts you in stat mode. You'll see on your screen that the calculator automatically asks you if you want one variable or two variable statistics. We want one variable statistics, which is already underlined. So all you have to do is press enter. Now that you're in stat mode, you can collect your data. And so you do that by just hitting the data button. When you hit the data button, you're gonna be asked for the first data value X1. So looking at our frequency distribution, X1 is 28,600. When you finish typing that, don't hit enter instead you arrow down. When you arrow down, you're going to be asked for the frequency of this data value. Looking back at our frequency distribution, it has a frequency of 1. Calculator will already have a 1 there, so you don't have to type 1. You can just arrow down again. Then you'll be asked for x2, the second data value. You'll enter 17,500, arrow down, and then you're going to be asked for the frequency of x2, which is 5. The calculator will show a 1, all you have to do is type 5 and it'll replace it. Then you arrow down again. Next, you're going to be asked for x3, which is the third data value of 15,100. This data value has a frequency of 3, so when you arrow down, you're going to enter a frequency of 3. Then arrow down again to enter x4, which is 13,000. You don't have to arrow down again because the frequency of 13,000 is 1 and your calculator will automatically assume the frequency is 1 if you don't change it. So at this point, you're ready to do the calculation. To calculate the mean, you need to use the stat var button and look for x bar. So click stat var and what you're going to see on your screen is n, which means the total number of data values, but we want x bar. You're going to have to arrow over to underline x bar and then you're going to have to click enter and you should see on your screen 17,740, which is the same mean that we got working by hand. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.